G'day mate, welcome back to Maniac Math with Mrs. Carell. Make sure you've got your video notes page and a pencil and we'll get started. Alright, the title of our video is Multiplication 1E Practice. 1E Practice. Your important term is multiplication is just repeated addition. Write that all down, come on back. Alrighty then, let's get started with problem number one. No, I can't keep up that uh, Australian slash English accent forever. It just takes a little too much time and we got math to do. So we're going to be doing this two different ways, but you'll also notice that I have started writing up here something that you will see a lot of on your standardized tests coming up in the spring. So we need to start making sure we've seen this before and that it makes sense. So our problem is 68 times 4. And if you look over here, I have 68 times 4. So we're just taking each digit and multiplying it by 4. The 6 in 68 is really worth 60, which is why we write 60. Now this up here, this standardized testing thing that you're going to see, means that 68 times 4 is equal to or the same as 60 times 4 plus 8 times 4, which is the same thing we have written down here. All right, let's get to it. 8 times 4, 32, 32, all right, and over here we have, yes, a cross it off, drop it off, so whenever you have a zero at the end of a number in a multiplication problem, you can cross it off and drop it off in the answer. Make sure it goes on the end of the answer, too. You can't just drop it off anywhere you want to. Now we're left with 6 times 4, which is 24. Now we would add these two things together, so I'm just going to take that 32 and line it up right in here and add it to my 240. So I have 0 plus 2, which is 2. 4 plus 3 is 7, and 2 plus nothing is 2. So we know our answer is 272. Let's do it the standard algor algorithm way over here. 8 times 4 is 32. We can see our 32 right here. This plus 3 that we just stuck, that is in our notes area. It's not really part of our answer, but it's what we need to get our answer. 6 times 4 is 24. 24 plus that 3 is 27. Ooh, funky looking 2. There we go. So you can see we get the same answer either way. All right, on to problem number 2. Problem number 2. Let's start with this side this time. 7 times 4 is 28. Now remember, this plus 2 in here, as sloppy as it may be, is not part of our answer. It's what we need to get our answer, 28. All right, now we've used the 7, so now we need to multiply 9 times 4. 9 times 4 is 36. 36 plus 2, 38. All right, we're done. We know what our answer is. Let's make sure by doing it over here. 7 times 4, that's 28. We did it right here, 28. Oh, we got a cool cross it off, drop it off, because it's at the end of a number in a multiplication problem. You can't do this with just anything. It has to be a multiplication problem. So don't go dropping your zeros off in an addition, subtraction, or division problem only when it's at the end of a number in a multiplication problem. Now we're just left with 9 times 4, which is 36. Now I'm going to swing this right over here, and I'm going to add it, because I like adding this direction, not that direction. This way is vertical stack. This way is horizontal. Most people prefer doing it vertically. 0 plus 8 is 8. Remember, this is addition now. 6 plus 2 is another 8, and 3 plus nothing is 3. 388. All right, the next problems you're going to do on your own. Everything that is written in here, you need to write. So problem number 3 is 74 times 4, which we have also written as 74 times 4. Do that one on your own, and the next problem will be 88 times 4. Or, Mrs. Crow making a mistake, let me erase that 4. 
because I set up the problem wrong. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. Not a big deal. 8 times 4. And see, I did the same thing right up there too, didn't I? Sometimes my brain gets lazy too. Everybody's does. But I caught it, so it's all good because I just fixed it. All right, 88 times 4 and 88 times 4. And here our standard, um, our testing algorithm up here. 88 times 4 is the same as 88 times 4. Pay attention to that because guess what? On problem 5 and 6, I'm going to ask you to fill in these pink boxes. So make sure you have the rest of this written. Fill in those pink boxes what you with what you think should go up there. So problem number 5 is 75 times 4. 75 times 4. And then you need to figure out what goes up in there. Remember, you have a few examples already. Problem number 6. Your last problem is 37 times 4. 30 seven times four and fill in the two boxes up here make sure you pay attention because it's not exactly the same as problem number five but i'm sure you've got this go for it 